Hey everybody, it's Mike Drudge coming to you from Vought RV. I'm really excited to go through a unit behind me today. It's a North Point 373 BHOK. A few of these have been floating around in the past year, but not very many. And this is the very first one we've gotten in here. What's special about it? Well, a few things. Most notably, it has a slide in the back. So the back bunk area actually slides out. Makes the unit about three, four feet longer than it is sitting right here. It's also a bath and a half. So let's get started. I'm gonna do a quick walk around on the outside and then we'll go on the inside and show you some neat features on the inside. I'm gonna start right here today. This is gonna be consistent with what you've seen in the past on, on North Points. We got cameras outfitted on the side and the back. I've got a Moride, upgraded Moride pin box up here. Um, this is gonna help with checking when you're going down the road. This is a premium pin box right here. Now, take a peek, taking a peek up here, you can see that this unit's been gen prepped. So if you wanna add a generator later or have us add a generator, it's ready to go. Here's another bonus with being gen prepped. Instead of having 60 on your propane capacity, you get 120. So you go from a single propane bottle to 340s, so 120 is your propane capacity. Um, hydraulic uh, pump up here for your leveling, and of course your batteries are gonna go over in this compartment. Now if you don't put a generator in this, you'll have that much more storage area up here. Either way, you got a lot of nice storage up there. So let's take a peek over on this side of the unit. I'll show you this compartment over here. Whoa, what, what, what? Huh. I don't know what that was about. Anyway, um, on this side is our two propane bottles. There's a third one over on the other side. So again, 120 pounds of propane, lots of propane capacity. Now, looking in here, we've got our nice pass-through storage. It goes all the way through to the other side. Look at that five-gallon water bottle. That's pretty cool. So. That's supplying water to your island and your spigot uh, inside, as well as your residential fridge. You've got an 1800 watt pure sine wave inverter. So there's inverted power to the outlets next to your bed and some other locations. Nice clean storage, and this is climate controlled. Now this is what we call the wet bay, generically across the RV industry. So um, naturally, it's where the wet stuff goes. You got your hot and cold outdoor shower, you have your whole house water filter, your valve controls. This is where all the settings are, depending on your style of camping. So all nicely labeled, again, climate controlled. So if you're camping in super cold temps, this is gonna receive heat down here, keep everything thawed the way it's supposed to. One thing I've appreciated about Jayco is how stout these, uh, compartment doors are. Look how thick that is. That's full of foam core insulation. That's important because we want to keep this climate controlled underneath here in what I call the basement area. Now we have our water heater here. This is a gas electric water heater. You can opt for a tankless water heater if you want to. This is your furnace vent. I recommend putting uh, insect screens on those to keep the mud daubers from going in and taking up housekeeping. We've got our outlet right here, and you can take a peek at uh, our six-point auto leveling jacks right here, your level up auto leveling. And uh, just uh, sneaking around the corner here, this is neat. So if you ever need to access the backside of your residential refrigerator, you can do so here without having to pull it in from the inside. You can get to the water valve for winterizing uh, in the event that you needed to service this. It's a lot easier to get to it here than having to get to it from the inside. Now we're backed up pretty close to the fence here, so I'm not gonna walk all the way around, but you can see, boom, look, I have a slide out here. So that's a good three feet. So instead of a 40 foot long fifth wheel, we're now about 43 feet when that slide comes out. And this is housing the little bunk area in the back room. You can see that we've got a 50 amp power cord here. We've got a lot of condensate dripping down here because it's a hot day here in North Texas. So let's go around on the other side and have a look on the, what I call the fun side of the unit. All right, now we're in the front of this 373 and I wanna go around to what I call the fun side of the unit and just feast your eyes on all of this awning coverage. This is where all the fun stuff happens. This unit's 40 feet long, 
14,400 pounds dry weight, so about 16.5 fully loaded. Your fresh water tank, 75 gallons. Gray water is 87 and black's 87. So you got a lot of fresh water and holding tank capacity for those extended periods off grid. Now, I always love a lot of coverage on the fun side because it's where all the fun stuff happens. The picnic table, the fire pit, and everything's over here. So we have an awning mounted on the wall of the unit here and an awning that's mounted on the slide itself. And you'll see that awning comes out farther because it's mounted on the slide. Sometimes you'll see awnings, especially on motor coaches, they're mounted on the wall of the coach itself, goes over the top of the slide, then you only have like four feet of uh, awning coverage. In this case, it really makes for a nice amount of coverage on the patio side. So, now that we're in a north point, and we are, we have drop frame construction, so we have this nice cavernous storage area here. That's a griddle and your griddle platform right here that goes into what Jayco calls a J-port, so you can be cooking outside. You can see that five gallon water bottle that we pointed out. You can put a TV in here if you want. We've got power and coax cable. This is your central vac uh, assembly and your bag goes in there for a central vac, just like a household vacuum cleaner. That's a motion sensor light too, so I don't know if you saw it pop on, but it, you can either set to be off all the time or automatic, so when you're moving in and out of here, it'll turn the light on automatically. We have JBL speakers, JBL brand speakers, and JBL sound system. Now one thing that's new in 2023, see that camera over the door? Every unit is prepped for that, but we're ordering these with the security camera already installed. So in the past, you couldn't actually use these side cameras and the back camera for security because there's no power going to these when you're sitting at the campground. Now there's a switch inside, turn that on, it sends power to these cameras, the one in the back and that one over the door. So you have 360 security view around the whole unit. That's pretty cool. So before we go in, I'll just uh, show off this little feature here have a drink refrigerator on this side, watch your fingers, and two utensil drawers, and of course the Jayco branded bottle opener, the most important part of this. And like I said, this is the J port. You put that platform in here and your griddle sits here. You have a propane quick connect under there so you can be cooking out here as well. Now there is a hitch in the back here if you want to put a cargo carrier or something back there and it is wired with a four point wiring in case you want to put lights or something behind bicycles or a rack. So you can see we've got a slide in the back here. This is the only North Point that I know of in recent years that's got a slide in the back. So it adds more room, what's well, actually the bunk room on the inside. So let's quit talking about it and go inside and check out the bunk room on the inside. Let's go. Okay, now we're on the inside of this 373. Again, the first of these we've ever had on this lot here at Vought RV. Immediately, what distinguishes this from all the other North Points is moving the bunk room to the back. The 377 and even the Pinnacle version have the mid bunk, mid office in the middle of the coach. On this one, our bunk room is in the back with a neat loft area. It's real striking with that blue light on the steps there when you come in to access the little loft area for the kiddos to get up there. Uh, you know what, I'd sleep up there. There's not a lot of headroom up here, but there's enough. This is actually a magnet, so you can pull this down for privacy uh, up there and just pops up there. And obviously this is a security thing, so nobody's rolling out of bed at night. But hey, I'd sleep up there. A couple kids have plenty of room to sleep up there. And again, that's above the bunk room, directly below it, and half bath. That's the other thing. This is the bunk version or the bunk option in the North Point line that actually has a half bath. The 377 doesn't, it only has one full bath. Now we have a half bath and this is pretty nice. So we have the bath here that separates the main living area from the bunk room. It's just your basic nice undermount sink, very classy porcelain foot flush toilet and a little bit of storage above it there. But 
This is the this is the cool part. This is the slide that has popped out that we just looked at outside. Now this is a small bunk. This is for short humans, probably four feet long humans or four feet tall humans. So yes, a kid can sleep up there. Me, not so much. Um, if you don't want this there, that can all come out of there easily. If you do though, it makes another sleeping surface for a kiddo. Now this is a trifold sofa and this makes a decent sized bed for an adult here as well. Obviously we have a table here and this just pops up out of here if you don't want it here. So I can sleep one, two, maybe three folks in here. This is nice, it's another closet. So there's a clothes rod in there, uh, Insignia brand TV, two drawers there. Got USB ports everywhere. One thing Jayco's done in 2023 is added a lot more USB ports um, everywhere. We have roller shades everywhere on the North Point and this is a barn door on rails up here. So real classy. And this thing's heavy too. It's pretty stout. It feels kind of residential. So let's go in the front. I shouldn't say front, the galley area really. One new thing in 2023 is this cutting board. In the last couple years there was a drawer that pulled out and you dropped the cutting board in it. Now they've simply hinged it so you can lift this up, have extra cutting board space, or pull a couple chairs up here if you want to, then when you don't want it here anymore, just flip it down out of the way. Because we have our two recliners here, which are heated, power, and massage, right across from the smart TV. So the TV, fireplace, and entertainment center, JBL, so this is a bona fide sound system, guys. This isn't cheap stuff. This is uh, really a nice sound system with JBL speakers. There's JBL speakers in the ceiling and out on the patio. Your little subwoofer control right there. Now this is a, a manual uh, televator, not an electric one, and I'm perfectly okay with that. Anything without an electric motor means that there's no electric motor that can fail. So you just pull, push this down, get it out of the way. When you want it, deploy that little switch there and up it comes. So uh, in my book, I'm totally okay with that. Storage up here as well. We have our uh, coax cable coming in and there's already two HDMI cables already run down to the TV so you can put another component. Now this is pretty cool. You'll see little white stickers on a lot of these outlets that are inverted saying they're inverted power. So if you're off in the middle of Timbuk nowhere, you have no shore power, those outlets remain hot from your batteries through your inverter. So that's inverted power so you can watch the TV. The uh, outlets next to the bed are inverted too. Nice galley up here. We have a four burner chef style insignia brand cooktop. Easy to remove these for cleaning. Uh, and a nice sized oven too. And convection microwave up top here. Now here's another change in 2023. This used to be a wine rack up here. Now Jayco changed it to spices. Let's lift this up and pull it out, tilt it down. You can re uh, reach up here and grab your uh, favorite spices out of there. I like that. Now this unit's been equipped already with 380 watts of solar. So I've got two panels up on the roof. There's a charge controller. We could add yet a third uh, solar panel if you'd like, but this unit's already got 380 watts of solar power. It's equipped with J Voice. I don't know if this one's been updated or not, but there's a little medallion above the entry door there that's listening. <laughs> so we can wake it up by saying, Jayco, all lights. And it's not updated, otherwise all the lights would come off and turn on and you can t uh, do theater mode and things like that. Uh, we can make sure we update that for you before you take delivery. Little storage up here. Now, all the drawers on all Jayco's have solid maple fronts. All the drawers are going to have ball bearing drawer glides and they're full extension drawers, which I really appreciate. Where's the trash can go? You always gotta know where the trash can goes. Boom, right there's where the trash can goes. And there's more storage under here, here, and a utensil drawer there as well. Now, when my wife and I were RV shopping, one of the deal makers for her was a residential refrigerator. 21 cubic feet of refrigerator bliss right here, ladies and gentlemen. Look at all that storage. You can put a lot of groceries in there. 
I like the lighting top to bottom. And this is in fact a residential fridge. I can go buy this same residential fridge at Lowe's or Home Depot today, which means it's warranted and serviced by Whirlpool. Six months from now, if you have a problem with this, you're calling Whirlpool and they're gonna come out and treat this just like it was in your bricks and mortar house. This little water spigot is plumbed to that five gallon water jug down in the basement. So you're cooking and drinking purified water. You can save the room in your refrigerator and not have to put bottled water in there like you used to and save that for more important things like beer and things like that, if you drink beer or root beer. Nice pantry in here. It's lighted, nice shelves. Nice branded Jayco clock from Middlebury, Indiana. How fantastic is that? I love this coffee bar deal right here. So we have real tile backsplash here, storage, storage, and there is a neat little four space wine rack down here. I'm calling that a wine rack. Looks like a wine rack to me. These are your fuses and your breakers and they're all labeled nicely. And then uh, we've got USB and a light switch here as well. That's really cool because, you know, perfect place to lay your cell phone or iPad to charge up there. Smoked glass inserts on these cabinets. Now, speaking of charging, over here on the table, Jayco's um, integrated wireless charging in the top of this little pop-up power tower. See, my phone already recognizes it and is starting to charge automatically. If you push on this, pop it up, you have USB, USB-C, and then two household current uh, charging locations as well. That's pretty cool. Now our table right here does expand, so just lift this up and pull out. I have two more chairs just like these that live under the bed up front if you want to add two more chairs so four folks can sit around here. And there's a little extra secret storage there as well as behind there. What else? We've got a third AC right here with a heat pump in it. So that's a third 15K AC. So I've got an AC up front, one here, one in the back main AC. So three ACs, you're gonna stay comfortable in this coach. This is our little command center here. This is an Android tablet where you control all the functions on this. Your climate, your lights, all your motors, which is your jacks, slide outs, and so on. And then, like I said, lighting, temperature control. Now the neat thing is, is you can put this app on your phone and control all these functions from your phone. The uh, switch to the ceiling fan, at least for Jayco, is always in this cabinet or in this wall area, and it's always a toggle switch that looks like this. So I have the ceiling fan going. It's really nice too, in this case, since we have a loft up there to keep that air circulated and keep it comfortable up there uh, as well as down here. Uh, if you've watched any of my videos by now, and hopefully you've watched them, you already know that these two things are, in fact, grenade launchers for security. No. These are thermistors. They're temperature, sensing the temperature, sending information back to here. So it's keeping a consistent temperature based on what you set it. You'll see these everywhere. They're outside, in the back, up in the bedroom. They're sampling the air temperature. So you can see we've got a courtesy light right here in our steps, and there is a central vac system right under the steps as well. Nice size bathroom up here with uh, um, a, a nice basin style sink. And woo, thank you, Jayco. They added a medicine cabinet here next to the mirror. A lot of you said, hey, where's the medicine cabinet? Boom, there's a medicine cabinet here. Yay. All right, so we have power, light switches, a little storage under here, and again, a porcelain foot flush toilet. Here's something we've added in 2023. I should say Jayco's added. I didn't add it. Just pointing it out. There's a door. There's, this used to be open space, and now there's a door here. Perfect place for towels and linens and so on. And then I'm in the shower here, which has a teak seat over here. One piece shower surround. And wow, check this out. So this adjusts up and down with a ginormous shower head right here. Uh, adjustable, really classy, and a nice skylight up here. Very nice. Now, I love these doors too. This is like a high-end residential style door. This is not 
light. It's a very heavy duty door. So coming into the bedroom area, have a little bit of storage under here. You may have noticed that from the last year or two videos we've done. Perfect place for jewelry, perhaps a nine millimeter if you go that way, all right? But it's a great place for storage. And got drawers underneath here. TV up here. Now in 2023, all the TVs are smart, including the one in the bedroom. So it's an Insignia brand television service by Best Buy. This is a, a, a king bed option. You can get this in queen or king. We've optioned this with uh, king. Um, there is storage under here. There's gas struts. Boom, how easy was that? So these are the two extra chairs that match those up there, but they're folding chairs. And then there's lots of fun stuff in here, like your, your vacuum attachments, your pigtail attachment for your outdoor shower water filter for your whole house water filter and the wrench for that winterizing your camera so this is important since we have the security system on this it comes with a seven inch monitor which will live up in the dash of your truck going down the road to monitor the side and the rear views when you're at your campsite unplug it bring it in here and i'm thinking i'm probably going to set it up here or next to the bed now here's the important part Security camera, turn that on. Now we have power to all those camera locations and I can watch who's approaching the unit from the door, the sides, and the back, watching this little monitor. So, good stuff. Notice this is plywood. It's not particle board on Jayco. It's always gonna be plywood. It's stronger, costs a little more, doesn't off gas and stink like particle board does. And it's a little more expensive. That's why you pay a few more bucks for a Jayco, but in my book, I think it's worth it. All right. Now, if you want to add a washer and dryer, they're going to go right in here. Obviously, these three shelves would come out, but it's already plumbed for uh, hot and cold. And then that's the dryer vent location right next to it. Um, again, motion sensor lights in here. And there is a little hamper, and I'll get out of the way so you can take a peek in there. The only carpet you're going to find in this coach is the little bit that you see in the closet there and down at your feet, but there's no carpet that you're actually standing on in the main part of the unit. Got a whisper quiet on this as well. All the Jayco fifth wheels are going to have whisper quiet. They're whisper quiet because of the way the ducting runs on the inside of the ceiling here. It's a helix pattern not right angles so there's less resistance on the fan motor these are a lot quieter you can see our wine guard 360 right there that's a wi-fi booster it's an fm antenna and if you want to create a hot spot a dedicated hot spot wi-fi hot spot i should say in the unit you can pop a sim card in there and pair it up with whatever data plan you prefer with your usually your cell phone provider so you can have a dedicated hotspot in here. You'll see these guys around different places. Um, they're shortcuts for lighting and, and things that you most often would need to do in here so we can handle our slides up here as well as our lighting. And remember you can always do it from your phone and as soon as we update that J voice you can do it verbally as well. So this is a pretty cool unit. Again, we're about 40 feet long when that slides in. The first one of its kind that we've ever gotten here at Vaught RV. If you'd like to come out and take a look at it, we've got a bunch of North Point sitting on the lot right now and eagles and a good selection of pinnacles. It's a great time to come out and look and touchy-feely in person. Seems like there's only so much you can do shopping online and watching videos, although I appreciate you watching this video, but there's no replacement for coming out in person. And if you have questions ahead of time, just send us a note. We'll get you hooked up with one of our great sales staff uh, to do our best job at answering your questions. You know, we think that shopping for an RV should be just as fun as using them. And here at, at Vought RV, we try to make it that way. So, hey, my name is Mike. I appreciate you joining me. Take a second and click like and subscribe below if, uh, if you care to. That way you'll be the first to know when we post more videos a lot like this one. Okay, see you next time. Howdy everybody, thanks for joining me today. I hope you learned a thing or two from what I had to say. If you did and feel like it, then click subscribe below. And when I post a video, you'll be the first to know. See you.
you next time.